Hello everyone, I'm Paul Barger, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing something totally different, something totally crazy, um, something completely unconventional, and stepping totally, completely out of my comfort zone. Um, never done anything like this before in my life, but I'm just going to go crazy. So, I thought I would make an intro video, tell you guys a little bit about myself, uh, what my channel is about, and what you're, you can expect to see... Um, on this channel um, I hope you guys really enjoy it it should be a amazing ride and um, we're gonna do some really cool stuff so um, you know it might be slow at the start I've never done this before and I'm shooting for a, about a video a day now I'm kind of a silly guy um, if you look at the video I posted just before this one it's an old video I came across when I was making room on my phone in order to do new videos. And it's a video of about a minute of me doing cartwheels. I don't even know I can, if I can do a cartwheel anymore. But, um, I don't know. I haven't done one in a long time. But you'll see, they're very Chris Farley-esque, Chris Farley-like. Um, and, you know, if you like watching a big guy fall down, you'll enjoy it. Some of, my, some of my videos will be that. It'll be just silly, random things. Some of my videos will be a vlog where I'm talking into the camera just like I'm doing now. Um, you know, I, I kind of feel like who am I to spout off my opinion to the world through YouTube. But, you know, I've been watching other videos out there and I've just been really motivated by other channels I've seen. Um, I have to say it, um, but Will Prowse is amazing. Um, his videos are just, I stumbled upon them because, you know, of RB conversions and I've been like obsessively watching all of them. He's so smart. Um, he, he has such a good outlook and I agree with so many of his like views of the life and the world and, um, I'm, it's just really good stuff. So, um, you know, I, I watch Seven Wanders the World too and he has the same truck as I'm considering taking out for my first um, thing, my 89 Grumman bread truck. So all these people are um, kind of pieces of my internet um, network that I've been doing research, if you want to call it that, but you know, that's my kind of entertainment too. I've been watching YouTube like a crazy person on uh, Chromecast. So um, I've been employed at a top performing, um, retailer um, in the, that exists in the southeast extremely extremely well known um, and uh, you know pretty much I help sell groceries um, you know as for a supermarket so um, it was a uh, it had a lot of good qualities to it um, and I think just like a lot of American companies it is a um, you know it's a corporation it's designed to make as much profit as possible um, and get as much performance out of people as possible. For me, it just seemed um, it, it, the the pay was great, but um, the time spent was just far too much. I, I don't feel that um, this company was really unfair or anything like that. Um, it's probably just the standard in America at all corporations, um, but that's what they want us to do. They want us to get locked down to a 30 year old prison term and buy a house and have to pay that off forever and keep working our jobs and play the lottery and hope it will someday break out and then buy a car because we have to have a car payment and lock that in and just, you know, consume more and more and more of our earnings and keep us working 60, 70 hours a week and not being able to live our own lives. That's the thing is I wanna break out and I wanna live my life and I want to see a grizzly bear and I want to, um, you know, jump into the snow. I wanna, um, you know, I wanna see the world. I wanna see the country. Um, two weeks a year, two weeks a year is all that you get off. That's not enough, that is not enough time Okay, yeah, you get two days off a week as well, but I don't know. Maybe I, I, I like to be positive. I like to talk about positive things, so I want to keep things in a positive direction. The thing I want to focus on is my positive move. Um, 
I'm going to try to not get upset. But a big contributor to that is that um, I have a, a dog that um, has been with me for nine years. And uh, he just got sick and um, that was it for him. So I kind of have no reason anymore to um, stay local, um, stay, uh, you know, locked down or in it or whatever. So I decided to make a big change and I'm going to do it. I'm, I have done it. I already have done it. My last. We're going to edit that out. My last day at my previous employer was um, the 17th, I believe. Uh, May 17th. No, June 17th. Yes, June 17th. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off. I didn't intend to say. Uh... So anyways, not like it's a big deal. Um, so that's that. Um, I can tell you a little bit about my um, plan of what I'm going to do. Um, what I want to do is travel um, kind of off the grid. I'm going to build out a home. It'll be on wheels in some manner. I have another project as well. I haven't really talked about that much, but I have a tiny house trailer as well that could easily be built out into a home. So what I want to do is start building homes. I would love to start building homes. Um, Deke on Relax Shacks, he's a, definitely another big influence that um, I just think is awesome. Um, I love his the way he goes about things. He, I've always had a concept in my mind of building homes out of this is a whole nother video and I'm not going to get into it now, but I would like to start making things. We'll just put it at that. I want to start making things. I may start small, I may start with, um, executive desk toys. Okay. This kind of stuff. Um, I may start with, uh, vehicles, little, <laughs> I'm going to make all sorts of things. I like putting motors on stuff. So, um, who knows? My background is I don't have any background. I've never even done any of this stuff, but I don't care. I've always had that type of mentality. If someone asks me, can you do this? I'll, I will just wing it. I will do it. Sure, yeah, I can do that. I mean, I have to be realistic. I can be realistic, but if someone asks me, can you drive a forklift? Yes, of course I can. It's simple. It's levers. Yes, I can drive a forklift. You know, I don't know. I just take on challenges like that. Of course, I do things safely, but... Um, you know, that's kind of my approach to thing. I always have had this thing in my head, a statement in my head, I don't know what it's called, is to like throw yourself at things with reckless abandonment. Um, you know, kind of like my cartwheel video. Look at my cartwheel video, you'll see that's how I approach tasks. <laughs> I throw myself at it with little to no regard for my own well-being. Um, I don't know. I feel I have a, a lot to offer. I think it will be fun. I think you guys will enjoy watching the crazy um, things I do. And I'm, I'm not, it's not going to be some sort of Mountain Dew extreme adre adrenaline junkie channel. I'm not that adventurous as far as, you know, I, I don't know. It's not going to be, it's not like skydiving. Not that I won't do that, but um, I think it'll be a little more chill. So. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to all the things that are coming up in the near future. I was thinking I was going to leave right away, but it's going to take a little bit longer. I'm cleaning out my entire life. I'm cutting down all of my possessions to hardly anything. I saw Will Prowse getting on a plane um, to go to Hong Kong, and he had a backpack. All of his possessions, everything he owned, in one backpack. I have so much shit. I have to throw things away. Everything is getting streamlined. I'm getting rid of all these things uh, my let go account right now is blown up with a thousand things I've listed but I just want to get it all out it's all weighing me down it's all an anchor and I want to live free I want to fly like an eagle to the sea <laughs> I'm telling you there's gonna be um, some fun stuff coming up um, anyways I look forward to it please like comment subscribe Okay, I'm one of those guys. Bye.